In this video, I'll be going over a bunch of new updates for version 2.2 of FT Anim Picker. Before this update, you're either using version 1.0 or version 2.0. You can check what version you're using by clicking on the info menu and it displays it up there. The update feature was introduced in version 2.0. So if you're using version 2.0, then you should be able to update right from the picker. If you're still on version 1.0 on the other hand, you'll need to uninstall the old version and install the new. In Blender, uninstall the add-on, restart Blender, then download the new version and install it. In Maya, right click and delete the tool from shelf, restart Maya, then download and install the new version. If this is your first time using this tool, you can get more information about the installation and setup process from the launch video. I'll link to that in the description. In version 2.2, you'll be able to navigate through the tool in several different ways. I'll go through a few of them now and you can also see the full list of shortcuts and navigation changes by clicking on info and accessing the manual, then selecting shortcuts. The first I'll go over are a few shortcuts you can do using the frame of the tool. Hold Ctrl and click on the frame to toggle in and out of edit mode. Hold Ctrl Shift and click on the frame to toggle minimal mode. In minimal mode, mainly your background image and buttons are fully visible. This is good if you want to reduce clutter on your screen. Hold Ctrl Alt and click on the frame to toggle fade away mode. In fade away mode, the picker's visibility reduces when the cursor leaves it and increases when your cursor comes back. And you can double click on the frame to resize it to its original size. A new feature was implemented in the Blender version that lets you toggle the visibility of opened pickers. By default, the shortcut is Ctrl Shift Down to hide the open pickers and Ctrl Shift Up to show them. You can change the hide and show shortcuts by going to Edit, Preferences, Key Maps, and typing FT in the search bar to locate the shortcuts, then you can change them. This feature is not yet implemented in the Maya version and will be shipped at a later date. When in edit mode, you can now intuitively interact with your picker buttons using shortcuts. To start, you can press Shift A to create a new button and double click on the selected buttons to rename them. I'll just edit this a bit. Then press Ctrl C to copy the button and Ctrl V to paste. After setting up a limb, I can just copy all those buttons, then press Ctrl Shift and V to paste the mirror of them. If you assign objects to the buttons on one side, then you copy and paste the mirror, the mirrored buttons automatically get assigned the counterpart objects, so you won't need to go back and manually reassign those objects to buttons. If you have several buttons you want to align, you can press Ctrl plus the arrow keys to align the buttons in that direction, Shift plus arrow keys to align to the horizontal or vertical center, and Ctrl Shift and the arrow keys to evenly space the selected buttons. Then of course you can press the delete key to delete selected buttons, Ctrl Z to undo, and Ctrl Shift Z or Ctrl Y to redo. Another addition to this new update is the ability to create buttons with virtually any 2D shape. And this can be done in two ways. The first is creating the button from a curve. In Blender or Maya, you can add a curve and customize it to your desired shape. Then while in edit mode of the picker, right click on the canvas and select create buttons from curve or press shift c in blender you can also create shapes with mesh vertices without faces the button shape is created based on the local axis flat plane of the curve object so in this case if i switch axis to local i can see that the flat plane is x and y by default the tool is on auto detect flat plane but if it seems like you're not getting your desired shape you can manually select the flat plane by deactivating the auto feature and selecting the correct axis. The second way is to use SVG files. To do this, just drag the SVG file into the picker canvas. And if it has valid curved shapes, it creates those shapes as buttons. You can download ready-made SVG icons or create your own in a photo editor that can export SVG files. Some examples of Photoshop, Affinity Photo, or a free alternative is Photopia, which is basically a web-based Photoshop. In this case, I'll be using Affinity Photo. You basically want to create shapes that have curved support. So for instance, the default shapes like the rectangle and circle or shapes drawn with the pen tool. I'll start by drawing different custom shapes for the limbs with the pen tool. 
and also adding other random buttons with interesting shapes. I'll draw just the left limbs, then I can duplicate and mirror in the picker. After drawing out the shapes, I just export as SVG, then drag the file into the picker canvas. Only the valid curve shapes will be extracted and turned into buttons. A bunch of these features were requested and tested by some amazing people through my Discord channel. And as a member, you get access to test out new features before anyone else. And so, if you are interested in joining, the link is in the description below. Thank you.